Hi, this is Kim Dushinsky. I would like to go over with you the three steps to mobilizing your WordPress site. This is going to be a very quick but very fun session, and I want to make sure you have your cell phone handy. You're going to want to go through some of the live mobile marketing demos that are in this presentation. We're actually going to be going through what I'm going to be teaching you, so it's going to be a little bit of a hands-on scenario. All right, what are the three steps to mobilizing? The first one is to get your WordPress site mobile friendly. This is the one that's most obvious. This is making sure that your site is accessible by mobile devices. The second step is to build an SMS, a text message list, and engage with your audience using value filled messages. Of course, this is completely permission based. I promise you I don't want to do anything that is not um, above board. So this is about building an SMS list with permission. The number three step is to use QR codes to build your list and drive traffic to your site. Yes, QR codes can be used for an online business as well as physical businesses. Okay, so let's take a look at this very first one, the mobile friendly WordPress site. And what you'll see here is an example, a screen capture of one of my pillar posts, the 10 commandments of mobile marketing. And it's a pretty good one if I do say so myself, and it's well worth reading. And I actually wrote it with mobile in mind. And that's one of the things I'm going to be teaching in the mobilize your WordPress course, um, how to write blog posts that really take advantage of the mobile space and actually work really well on the desktop as well. So this is an example and I'm going to show you in just a minute how you can take a look at this on your site right away. That will be one of your demos. So again, keep your phones handy. What I want to do is to tell you a few of the things that you want to avoid when you're creating your mobile friendly WordPress site and then how the mobilize your WordPress site course is going to help you. So first of all, you want to avoid failing to understand the strategy behind mobilizing your site. It really is more than just making it fit on a mobile phone. There's a lot more to it um, and, um, and you want to avoid that. Uh, you really want to avoid plugins that mobilize your posts but don't give you a way to organize your page navigation as well. And this is one of the, the most common things I see with WordPress plugins that mobilize. They really are more for blogs than sites uh, powered by WordPress. So I'm going to talk to you about, you know, what you can do about that. You really want to avoid complicated options that leave you frustrated and waste your time. Believe me, all my sites are powered on WordPress. Every one. I, I don't even know how many sites I have. I've lost count. But they're all powered by WordPress and I have mobilized them in a variety of ways, some of which have been super easy, leave me smiling and happy and woo, there I go about my day and others leave me literally wanting to pull my hair out because it was such a frustration. I'm going to make sure you know how to avoid the ones that leave you frustrated. And then the other thing is there's really not just one solution. It, there's several different ways that you can go about mobilizing and you want to avoid using the wrong solution based upon your needs. So based upon what you're trying to do with your mobile site, you're going to mobilize in a little bit of a different way. So in the Mobilize Your WordPress site course, um, I'm going to be outlining the ideal mobile web so you know what you're doing. You're going to understand the strategy. I'll be sharing the solutions, the themes and plugins that work best for what you're doing with your WordPress site. You're going to be able to say, okay, this is what I'm doing and therefore this is the tool that's the best match for me. I'm going to walk you through using the different options so you can save a ton of time. Also, there's, there's some learning curve in some of these and uh, I'm going to walk you through the, the top ones so that you can really just save your time and, and get moving as quickly as possible. On step two, here's where the demos start. I'm going to share with you how to build your SMS list quickly and ethically. And here's the first demo. If you would like to get mobile marketing tips from me via SMS, I'd love to do it. You can text Kim D, K I M D, to 69302. Again, that's Kim D, K I M D, to 69302. Watch your spell check. It will try to turn me into kind, which I am, but it won't get you on the list. 
message and data rates do apply. You're going to get up to five messages per month. If you decide you don't want to get them anymore, you can reply stop at any time. You can also reply help. Now this number will only work for US phones, but there is an option for international folks that it may work for you. It's not a, it's not a sure thing. There is a URL listed here on the slide, tinyurl.com slash kimdmobiletips that you may be able to sign up for. But again, if you're texting in, text the word KIMD, K-I-M-D, to 69302, and you will get mobile marketing tips from me. Now, as you can imagine, this is exactly the kind of thing that I'm going to be teaching you how to do, just one of them, how to create a campaign and then how to actually do the technical stuff behind it and then what you what else you can be doing with this so it's not just a one list you end up with several different ways that you can build segmented sms lists and this is just one of them so last call on this text kim d k-i-m-d to 69302 all right, so what you want to avoid in building your SMS list, first of all, and this is a, this is a big one, really, really big one, you, you need to avoid failing to understand the legal implications of doing text messaging wrong. There are ways that you can do it wrong even if you have the best of intentions and you are essentially going against the law and, and are leaving yourself open to legal action. This is, this is serious. I mean, there are multi-million dollar lawsuits out there against big corporations, of course, but there are there are companies that are really stepping into it and and they're not necessarily trying to be these are not you know the evil spammers of the world these are legitimate companies that have just um, done something a little bit off and so i want to make sure that you do it correctly and don't leave yourself open so just because you have a text messaging option in some of your in some software you may have or you may come across a plugin that does some things there are some there's some things out there that are flat out dangerous and you really want to avoid them also, you want to avoid missing the boat by sending out wasted messages that don't accomplish anything. Um, there is really no room for, for poor messages and SMS. So we're going to talk about how to build a campaign that really sings and does some great things. You may not have ideas. You know, this is a pretty new thing and you may not know, um, you may want to avoid not knowing how to, how to have the ideas, um, how to use SMS as a powerful part of your online marketing. And then also not getting started soon enough. I cannot stress to you enough how, how the time is now. Uh, it used to be that, that SMS was a lot more expensive. The prices have really come down and become a lot more affordable. And your competitors may, st may be doing it. And now is your, your only chance to really get ahead. So in the Mobilize Your WordPress site course, I'm going to make sure you know the exact ways to ensure you're within the law when marketing and building your SMS list. Marketing is part of this, so it's really important that you market it correctly. I'll be sharing with you the types of campaigns you can utilize and give you examples. So you're gonna see some, you know, here's what kind of things I can do, here's some examples. And then lots of great ideas. You're gonna have really great ideas for integrating SMS into your marketing. And of course, by going through the course, you will be getting started now while you can still be ahead of your competitors. QR codes. I know you're all excited about QR codes. I am too. They really can be a very, very fun tool. And here's a live QR code that you can use to go see the 10 commandments of mobile marketing on mobile. Just like I was, uh, I mentioned to you that you would have a chance to, to do this. You can scan this code right here and it will take you directly to that post. Now, if you don't have a QR code reader. First of all, you may not want to be trying to do this while we're still on the call. You're going to want to come back to this recording later and, and, and fire it up again. If you don't already have a QR code reader, just search in your app market for Scan Life. It's one that I recommend highly. Uh, search for Scan Life and you'll find it. You can also go directly to the Ten Commandments post by typing directly into your browser, your mobile browser, bit.ly slash 10, the number 10, CMM, stands for 10 Commandments of Mobile Marketing. So I'm going to go on to the next slide. Don't worry, I have this code on the next page as well. I know that using a QR code sometimes isn't, um, you can't do it quickly enough. So I've got all the same information on here. Uh, it's the same code. You can scan it from this page as well. 
So what you want to avoid in using QR codes, there are ways, there is one way that is just guaranteed to frustrate your audience. And over time, it can ruin QR codes for everyone. So I want to make sure you know how to avoid that. Uh, you want to make sure you avoid creating QR codes that you can't change after you start using them. I've seen a lot of QR codes that, um, that don't work, and I think that probably something happened in the link that they provided or something, and therefore it just it's not working. And unfortunately, it's already printed, so they can't change them. Um, there's ways that you can, uh, you can do that. Uh, the other thing is failing to understand the powerful ways that you can use QR codes that will help you build your list. Um, it seems a little, a lot like QR codes are just about taking people into a mobile website, but they're very powerful. So we're going to learn ways to use them to build your list as well as drive traffic. Now in the Mobilize Your WordPress site course, I will be giving you the strategy behind using QR codes properly. Uh, that they're, It's going to make you look like the super smart marketer that you are. Uh, you don't want to use QR codes improperly and it's easy to do. And when you do it right, it, it, you look great um, and you make everyone happy. Um, there are tools that make awesome QR codes. Uh, you know they're not all the same, right? Uh, you probably have software or you, you may have seen places where you can get free QR codes and it, they're not all created equal. So I'm going to show you some of the, the really great places to get your QR codes. And then also I'll be providing you a specific strategies for using your QR codes. Okay, so that that's it. I mean, those are the three steps for getting started mobilizing. And it really is easier than you think uh, when you let me guide you through the strategy and share the right tools. Don't go through the same, you know, long drawn out process of trying one thing that doesn't work, trying something else, trying something else, tr matching up with the wrong tools, the wrong vendors. Uh, let me really help you. So if you are not already enrolled and on the course site, so, so you may already be in the course, perfect. Just get started with the next lesson. If you're not already enrolled, this is one of the, the free videos for you to really understand what's happening. If you are not already enrolled, um, if you're on the course site, just go ahead and hit the, you know, take this course button and I will see you on the inside. If you've seen this video somewhere else, if you're not already on the course site, go to Mobilize WP, M-O-B-I-L-I-Z-E, WP, MobilizeWP.com. I am so excited to really help you get started mobilizing your WordPress site. Believe me, it is a ton of fun.